Let's talk about sea level rise because we're getting some new data from NASA that unfortunately shows we need to make some adjustments as far as our predictions with how fast oceans will rise. Right, yeah, they, this is something that they record from observations, ground observations and through satellites uh, showing the, the different uh, elevation of the water all across the globe. They kind of average it out and they show that sea level yeah it, it, it it's rising from greenhouse gas emissions from the from ice melting and going into our oceans here also mm -hmm. uh 80 of, of global warming all that energy the heat is stored in our oceans so warmer water also uh, takes up more space and that's again all contributing to rising seas so again we now officially have 30 years of data since we've been recording it back in 1993 and yeah, the total rise has been 9.1 uh, centimeters. That's three and a half inches of sea level rise in the past uh, uh, 30 years. And also in this one single year from 2021 to 2022, they now officially know 0.11 inches of sea level rise and also the rate of change per year yeah. is also increasing. Which is, which is pretty confusing, right? So let's break it down. Again, just over three and a half inches our sea level has risen since we've been writing this stuff down, since we put the satellites up there. Now, the initial forecast was, okay, this is going to warm about an inch per year. We'll see that rise. Now, with the new data, they're saying, hold on, this is closer to about two tenths of an inch of warming here. So that would be pretty significant the forecast is almost doubling that year by 2050 right. you know 20 about a quarter of an inch doesn't sound like a lot but when you think about some of the houses businesses buildings right. that we build on the beach of florida on the beach of texas there a foot within the next 10 to 12 years of ocean rise right. that's concerning yeah especially on a day you've, you've got a full moon you've got a hurricane tide, on, on right. your, your, yeah. your doorstep that is going to be have major implications for coastal areas for for people who have homes on the beach and for city planning you know for mm -hmm. for cities like miami and and new orleans that makes a huge impact and will have major uh, repercussions and will be very costly so that's why uh, it's great to one have this study here and and know how the observations so uh, city planning leaders ahead uh, can can plan accordingly. Also, this is you know a pretty cool bright graphic here mm. showing that you know at first look we, we show you something like this and you may oh look oh that's the temperature of the ocean. No, this is the sea surface height change over the past several decades. Everywhere in the orange, yellows, and reds, that is the increased height of the sea level that we have seen over the past 30 years. Yeah, and you know, what's kind of interesting to me too is you would immediately think of the ocean basin like a bathtub, and that's not the case, right? It's not raising the same rate everywhere. We're seeing different rates, obviously, with the, the blue spots and the darker red spots contrasting here. But here we are in the United States, and you can see Gulf of Mexico seeing more of a sea level rise than, let's say, the colder Pacific coast. And again, that has a lot to do with the temperature. Yeah, absolutely. And again, on average here across the globe, sea level is rising is rising at a faster rate and again this new study uh, really highlighting that and and hoping to uh, make sure we can one you know start to to make some changes mm -hmm. but also uh, do some mitigation and and some adapting uh, adapting uh, policies ahead so uh, there's a great weather blog on this up on cakesand.com